Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is JD and if you like all things sneakers, sneaker news, the latest drops, you've come to the right place. This week we're going to talk about the hottest releases for the week of May 23rd and I will tell you there are a bunch coming up so make sure you stay tuned. But before we get into it, please go ahead and consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get all my latest videos. We are really making a lot of progress and hopefully soon uh, we can hit that 10,000 mark. I really do appreciate everyone's support. Now on May 23rd we are kicking off with some bangers. So there are two off-white Air Force One mids dropping in the black and the white colorway. Now I will say I am not a particular fan of what they did with this with the spikes on the toe but it is an off-white and most people will go crazy for them. Me personally I don't think I would be picking these up but let me know if you guys want me to review these. But if you like these you can try to pick them up for $185. Again I don't think this is something I want but feel free to go after them. Now also on May 23rd the delayed Ryu Hachimura Air Jordan 8 collaboration is dropping. Now I don't know if you guys watched my video back then but this shoe is so fire. I really wish this was for a European release. I still am trying to search for these. I just really love this Jordan 8 collaboration. Let me know you guys thoughts on these but for me if these come to Europe I'm going to try it my best to get these. And if you like these you can go ahead and pick them up for $225 and uh, I just think these are going to be super limited so best of luck grabbing these. On May 24th you have the Gnaw Hunters SB Dunk Low. It's a super clean colorway with the black and whites. I like the material. Looks like maybe it's a suede material on there and yeah it's a very basic but yet clean colorway. And just like most SB Dunks, these are going to go for $110. And also on May 24th, the Selhi Bimberry Croc collaborations are dropping. Now there are two different colorways for these. The Crocodile and Urchin. I mean, I am not a Croc fan. I don't wear Crocs. I don't claim to like Crocs. But I guess they're unique. Maybe. But you could pick them up for $85 each. And... Yeah, uh, I hope you guys like them. Also, another re-release of the Jordan 2 Union Gray Fog. I really do love these shoes. I've talked about this. I got a review video on those as well. You're going to be able to pick these up for $225. So if you missed it the first time and the second time, now you have another chance. So go get them. These are super rockable. So let me know your guys' thoughts on those. Now on May 26, Puma is not done with the Rick and Morty collaborations. As you know, they did one with the Yamelo Ball MB1s and I absolutely love them. I have a release video of those up there and I deep dive into the review and performance of those. Now these are on the RXX Dreamer and I definitely like these as well. I don't know if I like them as much as the Yamelo Ball MB1s but I definitely like these. They're clean and super wearable. And I might go ahead and pick these up just so I can try them on the court as well. And my guess is that they're going to perform just as well as the MB1s. And honestly, Puma puts that price range in a perfect category. And you can pick these up for $120. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the LeBron 9 Highs in the Regal Pink. I don't like these. I don't like this colorway. This color blocking to me just, I don't know, it gives me the eebie-jeebies with that brown stripe in the middle. I just don't like it. That brown patch, it looks like a skid mark to me. Maybe try to reimagine that shoe. I don't know. But if you like them, pick them up for $230 and I will be passing all day on those. Now on May 27th for both the US and EU, the Travis Scott line is dropping. I talked about these last week that they did a shock drop on the TravisScott.com website and there are four different colorways that are dropping. 
You have the two Air Trainer 1s in the wheat and gray haze colorway, and then you have the two Air Max 1s in the Saturn Gold and Brown colorway. Now, I am not a fan of the Air Trainer 1s. I know there, some people will rock them and they probably will look good in them. For me, I just don't like them as much. But I really do like the Air Max ones, especially in the reverse smoker or brown colorway. I just think it's a super clean sneaker. And I know that with the delay of these because of the tragic events at Astroworld, that I don't know that the hype is quite there on these. Maybe let me know in the comments below if you're going to try to grab these. Or if you're not, also let me know because I'd be interested in hearing your thoughts. And you'll be able to pick up the Air Trainer 1s for $140 and the Air Max 1s for $160 each. Now on May 28th, you have the Jordan 5 Green Bean dropping. Now you're going to be able to pick these up for $200, but I really wish they would have retroed this one. I don't like what they did with the 3M. I think it's very, I don't know, over... 3M'd, if that's a word. <laughs> so it, it's just, I just don't like it. I know that, you know, there will be the fanatics out there for the green bean as it was a super popular back in the day, but I will not be getting these unless you guys want me to pick these up to review. I just don't see me grabbing these or wearing these. But if you want these, you can pick them up for $200. And to round us off this week for the US releases, you have the Adidas Boost 350 V2s in the slate carbon colorway. It is a clean Yeezy, as most of the Yeezy 350s are. I think they're gonna be pretty popular, and you can pick them up for $230. So, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the EU releases. There are not as many EU releases this week as I was hoping, but there's still some really good ones in there. Besides the Travis Scott ones already, the 23rd, the Nike Dunk Low, Light Iron Ore is dropping. You're going to be able to pick these up for 110 euro. It's a clean colorway. It's an, another Nike Dunk Low. Yeah, I mean, what else can you can you say? It's going to be a popular sneaker. And on May 24th, you have the Jordan 1 Pastel Tie-Dye for the women. Now, I talked about these again last week. It's a clean colorway. I think they'll be pretty popular, but I don't think they're going to fly off shelves. So I think you'll have time to buy these. And you're going to be able to pick these up for 110 euro. And then on the 24th, the Europe release of the Joe Fresh Good Conversations Amongst Us, which I am so happy to try to grab. I talked about these on how clean these are with the creams, the yellows, and blacks on these. Yeah, I don't know what else to say about them other than I hope to get them so I can review them for you guys. You're going to be able to pick these up, though, on the New Balance website for $140. Sorry, Euro, sometimes it slips my mind. But 140 Euro, you'll be able to pick these up. And now moving on to the May 25th release of the Nike Dunk Low Racer Blue. It's a clean white and blue colorway. I see these being pretty popular and you're gonna be able to grab these for 100 Euro. And then these are for your kids if you happen to have them. I don't, I wish I did uh, throw some of these on my, my little Sneaker heads, but you're going to be able to pick up the Concept Nike Air Max 1 uh, collaboration in the mellow colorway. It's a cute shoe for a kid. I think they're, they're definitely, uh, if you're trying to match your child, these are the ones to pick up. So you'll be able to pick these up for 95 euro. Now on May 26, Europe is finally getting their release of the Jordan 6 Midnight Navy. I mentioned this, these are not my favorite Jordan 6s but they're clean. The navy blue and white definitely hit, so I think people will like them. And if you like them, you can pick them up for 190 euro. And to finish us off with this week's releases, May 28th, the Jordan 1 Low Shattered Backboard Golf Shoe is dropping. You guys know how amped up I get for golf shoes. I love being able to rock these golf shoes while I'm looking for my golf ball in the forest. You gotta look good doing it, right? But if you like these, you're gonna be able to pick them up for 130 euro. And I will be trying to grab these. So if you happen to get them in 11 and a half or in the euro size 45.5, holla at your boy. Well, that's gonna do us for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be having some reviews coming out 
and I hope to see you next time. Happy sneaker hunting.